A long stalled hotel project in downtown Palm Springs will keep crawling forward after City Council approved new terms this week. News Channel 3's Jake Ingracia tracking the project live in studio tonight with the latest on where it stands now. Jake. And Karen, the Orchid Tree Hotel has been years in the making and most recently delayed due to construction costs and financing issues. But this week, city leaders did not mince their words. This project must now move forward. The city has bent over backwards in order to make this uh, a successful project. Uh, and we have withstood one delay after another. This is it. Palm Springs City Council admonishing Richard Weintraub Monday, the developer of the delayed Orchid Tree Hotel. He negotiated new terms with the city that include a deferral of payment of city permit and entitlement fees until three years into hotel operations with interest paid on the deferral. Also, revisions to the site plan to reduce construction costs and enhancements to the city's remedies in the event of an owner default. The terms also include an updated milestone schedule for the construction and open opening of the hotel, requiring new schematic plans within 90 days, construction starting within 15 months and about three and a half years to open its doors. It's been a frustration for the neighborhood that it's taken so long. Brian Hurd is president of the St. Baristo HOA community just across the street from the historic site of the proposed 74 room hotel between Bellardo and Cahuilla Roads. I just think it would be an improvement overall to the neighborhood. He's pleased to see city council pushing the project along, but is overwhelmingly opposed to the developer's backup plan, a seven story apartment complex said by city council to be a bargaining tactic and not a serious proposal. That project was surfaced specifically in order to inflame the public and scare the public in the hopes that we would create more favorable terms in this agreement. We were not scared. Residents say the new timeline is still not fast enough, but they're hopeful to see any progress on that eyesore of a property. If the new timeline is followed, ground would break in October 2024. Live in studio, Jake Gracia, News Channel 3.